Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the blog post from the Arduino team about their official support for MicroPython as part of their ecosystem. In a blog post days ago, the Arduino team mentioned that the MicroPython is now part of the official Arduino ecosystem. They even partnered with the creator of MicroPython, Damien George, to support the original virtual machine in different Arduino products. So, this is the post from the Arduino team regarding their support for the MicroPython. This is really an exciting news as the adoption of MicroPython would get a boost from the Arduino team. If you are not familiar with MicroPython, then it is a lean and efficient implementation of Python 3 programming language that includes a small subset of the Python standard library and is optimized to run on microcontrollers and in constrained environments. We are all familiar on how good the Arduino code is. And it is written in C and C++, but it might take a bit of time to learn more, with, especially for students with no programming background. MicroPython, or Python itself, is really an easy programming language to pick up, and I'm sure this would help students venture into the exciting world of microcontroller programming. Take note that this is, that this is still in the experimental stage so we don't know yet the final outcome of this project. Also, as part of their announcement, they have released a new IDE called the Arduino Lab for MicroPython. So this is the how the IDE looks like and is created using JavaScript using the Electron framework. Let us try to check if it would be easier to program using this new IDE and using the MicroPython. Our goal is to access the REPL command prompt of the ESP32 MicroPython and create the very basic Blink program. So, let's get started. First up, we need to download several soft. The first one is the Python, and the other one is the Arduino Lab for MicroPython. So, just go to this site and download the appropriate uh, Python ins installer for your operating system. I am running in Windows, so I will be downloading the Windows installer. Next, you need to download also the installer for the Arduino Lab for MicroPython. So select which one of these is applicable for your operating system. Just download it and unzip it to any folder or directory available to you. Next, we need to install the MicroPython firmware on your microcontroller units. So to do that, we'll just follow along with the MicroPython site on how to install it. So just go to the micropython.org site and click on the download. And in the download, just select the microcontroller unit that, that you have. In my case, I'll be using an ESP32. So I'll be clicking the ESP32 here. And click the ESP32 from here also. And select the releases, the latest release from the list in here. And using the code in here, we just follow it along later on. So for now, just download the the latest firmware for the ESP32 MicroPython. Take note that for each microcontroller unit, a different version of uh, firmware should be downloaded. So now that we have downloaded the Python and the Arduino Lab for MicroPython, including the firmware, for the ESP32 MicroPython, then just select a folder, available folder from your file system where we could install the MicroPython firmware. So in my case, I use the C MicroPython folder in here. And the very first thing that I usually do is to create a, a Python virtual environment so that I could isolate the all the packages that I'm going to install apart from the original Python package distribution. So to create a virtual environment, I'll just execute the py command and dash m, and then the pack the module bnb and the name of our virtual environment, which is bnb, and what this code will do is that it will create a separate uh, virtual environment from the uh, environment that we have in our Python. So as you can see from the background, 
it created a folder called the uh, .dnd. So now that the visual environment is created, we just need to activate this visual environment. And to do that, we just have to execute that .dnd scripts and then activate. So right now, as you can see, I have here the message that I am inside the visual environment. So we'll just follow along with the installation procedure regarding how to install the firmware in our ESP32 microcontroller. To do that, let's first install this code, which is the pip install. So once the pip install is done, is installed, then we just have to execute these two lines of code. So I just copy the, the code and then I will just supply the port where my ESP32 is connected. In my case, it is connected in COM3. So the, the steps on how to execute is like, just like this. Oops, it's not yet connect. It's not connected properly. So, the 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 first command, which is the erase flash, has successfully finished. So once it is finished, then we will execute the second command, which is here. So I just copy the the command and then paste it there, and then click enter. What will happen now is that it will write the Python firmware, sorry, the MicroPython firmware into our ESP32. So let's just wait for a bit of time. Okay, so it, it was able to load the MicroPython firmware into our ESP32. The next thing that we need to do is to click the Arduino Lab for MicroPython. So in this case in here, this is my Arduino Lab for MicroPython, and I just click the connect button, and it says that it has detected COM3, so we just click the COM3 button here. So right now, I have here this prompt, so supposed to be there should be nothing in here, so just click the garbage can icon in here so that nothing is shown. So the next thing that we will need to do is to run code, MicroPython code into our ESP32. So to do that, let's just execute this code, import. And then let's create a pin, an LED pin, and then set it into output i'm using the gpio2 which is connected into the built-in led in some of the esp32 board oops there's an error so let's in here okay so and then i'm going to take create a loop Okay, so and then I'll just set the value one and then I'll, I'll sleep for half a second and then I'm going to shut down the LED. Then skip it for half a second and then let's see if it will be able to blink the, our built-in LED. So I just click enter several times. So as you can see in the uh, ESP32, we were able to execute the, the Blink program using the MicroPython firmware and accessing it using the Arduino Lab for MicroPython IDE.
So it's using the Arduino Lab for MicroPython ID. I think it's really easy to execute the program using this new IDE. And that's all for me. I hope you learned something. Uh, in, the, in the future video, we'll be exploring more features of this IDE and the MicroPython itself. That's all. Happy exploring!